hello automation anywhere lovers in this session we are going to see how can we crack the automation anywhere a360 advanced rpa professional certification i will share my experience and all the steps of which you can perform to crack this exam and i will share some important questions as well so first of all you need to go to this website upskill.automationanywhere.com and here you will see a learning dashboard and when you scroll down you will see a product name here you can click on automation a360 and in here you will find a course automation anywhere a360 automation anywhere certified or advanced rpa professional so here you can attempt this exam click on view certification and there are four or five tabs as i have already attempted this so you can see faqs then certification exam agreement then candidate agreement e signature then sample question and question and answer assessment so you have to go through all the tabs and then you will be able to attempt this exam right so this is how you can attempt the exam but let's first we need to prepare for this exam so for that you have to scroll down in the learning path and in the end you will see this one advanced automation anywhere certified automation anywhere certification advanced rpa professional preparation automation a360 so this learning trail is designed for rpa practitioner who are interested in acquiring the automation anywhere certification advanced certification so when you will scroll down you will see some courses here for preparation building your first automation board this is elective course you can see the second one is automating task using automation a360 third one is uh, automation uh, using ai sense and this one this ai sense and Ad excel advanced action both are required tasks you need to perform or you need to complete all this and others are elective courses so for if you want to clear your exam in first attempt then you should have good knowledge of automation anywhere first of all you need to go through the automation a360 control room you should be aware of all the small features so i will suggest first you need to go through all these courses and then go to this control room window so in home page you can see lot of tabs are there so you should be a brief idea of all the tabs means uh, insights so what do insights do what do this re do so how can we create a board so you should be aware of the steps and there are different tabs you can see so let me show you some questions uh, which are based on this home tab or re so after going through all the courses in that preparation learning trial you can do some practice or by creating some boards so here you can see some options are available create a form create a process create a board upload file check date so you should uh, keep uh, in mind all about uh, you should uh, keep in mind means uh, from here we can create a process whatever 
so here you can see in a manage we can uh, see global values credential packages so there can be a question like uh, how can we create a global value how can we create a credential similarly how can we manage our devices this is the mostly asked question sorry in manage we can see manage devices and here we can see the status of the device so there can be a question like how can we see the status of a device and users the their this is the most important topic if you are going to attempt advanced automation uh, anywhere advanced certification you should be aware of all type of roles there will be at least three question or up to 10 questions so for that you can go to this websites roles in automation anywhere search on google and here you can see these roles just go through all the roles and their uh descriptions means uh, what which role for which uh, i mean uh, which role can perform which actions you should be aware of all this so there will be a at least three questions or up to 10 questions on the roles you can see roles create a role assign a role system roles re roles system roles you can see the system roles a admin a basic let me show you some question on the basis of roles So here you can create learning instance. Go to a, a task board. And in this task board, they can ask question basis on the re universal recorder and AI sense recorder means when we can uh, use a AI sense recorder or why we use a universal recorder, why we use AI sense recorder and uh, there can be multiple questions on AI sense. I will show you some important questions. So here we can see the definition of universal recorder and AI sense recorder. In that learning path, you can see a course A for AI sense, the use uh, roles and this AI sense. And the third main topic is packages. Excel package, loop package, if else package, and uh, data table or records so you should be aware of all these packages and their action and when you go to this uh, task board here you can see a uh, uh, three dots and when we click on this we can see a lot of options of uh, file properties port insights packages dependency and references this is also uh, again a good good uh, topic 
so this dependency and references we can see in the private uh, con private uh, space i mean where we can edit the bot so when we click on it we can see all the dependency and references of this particular task bot uh, our bot is not dependent on any other uh, bot so we are we can only see this uh, so there will be a question on dependency and references let me show you those questions Again, as I said, uh, on Excel package, there can be multiple questions. and this one also a good question like in packages how can we set the default package and what all details we can see here name vendor action score conditional trigger you should be aware of all these iterators in the loop and this one uh, create a variable how can we create variable which type of variables available and this window variable is also important question like uh, window variable and uh, list type of variable and these uh, conversion operations converts conversion uh, operators oh, con and this conversion actions means to string to number to boolean to date and all this you should be aware of all this like how can we convert a string into a loop how, how into a number how can we convert a number into a string important topic is uh, this javascript and vb script packages like how can we run javascript how can we uh, execute the javascript in our automation universe you should be aware of all the steps like first we need to open it uh we have to you we can use the open action of javascript package here we can assign the session we can import the existing file or we can uh, give the manual input means we can assign the script here or we can uh, write the script in a file or we can uh, import that file and then we will run the script we can ask, uh, run the particular action for particular function or direct or a whole script and then we can uh, use this browser action browser package as well we can directly run the javascript so it will run the javascript on a particular browser only similarly we have options for uh, vb script uh, package we can use vb script package to run the vb script and another one is the browser action browser package and open action so default browser so there will be multiple questions on that means uh, if a if word developer created a, a bot and uh, he you know, like automated the task on a different browser but uh, he, it when he's running it's opening a different browser so here we can see different type of browsers available and if you select the default browser then uh, the and then every time we run the bot it will open in the default browser and default browser can be different on different machines or different systems so uh, if we are uh, like automating the website uh, or we are recording the objects on a particular site on a particular browser like chrome then we should run the bot on the chrome So there are some important questions you can see. Good luck for your exam. If you have any doubt or something, you can let me know. So just uh, you need to prepare. Uh, as I already said, uh, you can go through that course in the uh, upskill.automationanywhere.com. And after that, you can uh, go through the control room and explore the uh, control room and see the features small small things uh, which are available like how can we 
manage the devices you should be aware of uh, this and then you can do some practice or of practice on the packages excel package uh, browser package javascript uh, excel advanced excel basic and uh, javascript db script browser you can uh, try universal recording and i sense recording and you can try to use a uh, conversion uh, actions like two string two number and you can use loop uh, loops as well uh, means you should do practice of all these so you will be able to understand the working exactly okay then thanks for watching this video guys to comment your doubts and to let me know if you have any other query as well all the best for your exam bye bye